Good day, YouTube. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to carry out amortization calculations. So you might wonder why is it important or necessary to know how to carry out these calculations. Well, you might uh, want to go into peer-to-peer um, -peer lending, for example. You want to lend out um, money to someone. For example, we have services such as um, Lending Club or peer -to -peer or Prosper.com. So if you lend out a specific amount of money to someone, how much payment do you get on a monthly basis? Or if you want to take out a loan from a bank, um, how can you calculate what your payments uh, will be? All right, so that's where amortization calculations come in. So to get started, let's take a look at what the formula is to help calculate the um, monthly payments for a loan with specified terms. So the formula, is as follows, um, A is equal to uh, P, the principal, times the rate per period, R, over N, times 1 plus the rate per period, R over N, raised to the um, number of periods, N, T, uh, divided by <clears throat> divided by um, one plus the rate per period r over n raised to the n t um, number of periods in all minus one. Okay, and this is one variation of the formula for calculating um, amortization. Um, another variation which I prefer um, is the rate per period R over N times the uh, principal divided by 1 minus 1 plus the rate per period R over N raised to the negative number of periods N T. Okay? All right, so these are the two possible formulas you can use. Um, this second form I wrote here is just a result of carrying out some algebraic manipulations to this first formula here, but they basically uh, give the same result. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about the individual um, parts of, of uh, this formula so that we can know how to apply them to an actual example, which we'll be taking a look at momentarily. All right, let's start with A. Um, the variable A basically means the periodic payment amount. All right, periodic payment amount. So let's say you um, open an account on a lending club and you loan out a certain amount of money. How much do you expect to get every month? That's what your A is. Or you take out a loan and you want to use it to buy a car, how much payments will you be making to the finance company every month? That's what A is, okay? P <clears throat> is a principal. It's the amount of money that is being borrowed. All right, so if you have a peer-to-peer um, -peer account, you're lending out money. P is basically how much money you're lending out, all right? And then R is the annual rate. Annual rate like the APR, for example, um, that goes here. That's an example of um, <clears throat> an annual rate. Um, N, N is the, um, is the number of periods per year, okay? <clears throat> number of periods per year. In most cases, this is normally um, 12. Okay, so if you're making, if you um, take a loan and you're making monthly payments, N is going to be 12. If you're making um, quarterly payments, then it's, N is going to be 4. If you're making um, annual payments, then N is 1. Okay, so number of periods per year is N. And in most cases, when you take a loan, you pay back monthly. Or if you loan out money, you get paid back on a monthly basis. So N is normally 12. Okay. So T um, is the term, term of the loan, term of the loan, okay? 
There are also some pieces um, here that um, occur that I'd like you to pay close attention to. R over N has a special significance. You see how R over N showing up here, 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 and here. R over N represents um, the rate per period, okay? Rate per period. So let's say you are you have a specific intra APR for rate per period would be the interest rate per month, okay? So R over N is rate per period. And then something else that shows up, combination of two variables is NT, NT, NT here. What does NT mean? NT is basically the total uh, total number of periods, okay? So remember, N is the number of periods per year, and T is the total number of periods for the entire duration of the loan, okay? All right, let's keep all these pieces of information in mind. Now let's apply it to exa an example, all right? So let's say, for this example one, uh, so a man, a man wants to buy a car, and wants to buy a car that costs, let's say it's an expensive car, a car that costs, um, let's say $100,000, say the Nissan GTR, $100,000, and let's assume that this price tag includes taxes, all right? Taxes included. Um, if he makes, if he makes um, a down payment, makes a down payment of, let's say 10%, okay? If he makes a down payment of 10%, what will his monthly payment be? What will his monthly payment be if um, if he financed the balance, the balance of the loan at um, seven percent um, for five years? Okay. All right, so how much is it going to pay? Well, let's say you open a peer-to-peer -peer account um, and you loan someone money, the person wants to buy a car, how much money do you expect to get back? In the case of Lending Club, this is not practical because um, they have a cap on their total uh, amount of money anyone can loan, namely 35000 but this is way more than that. So um, just think about a hypothetical situation where you're able to loan much more than the $35,000 cap what will your payments be? What would you expect to receive every month? Okay. All right. So to calculate what the monthly payment is, we're going to be making use of the amortization formula that we looked at earlier. Okay. So the formula that I prefer to use, let me bring it up again, is A equals um, R over N. R over N is the rate per period times the principal divided by one minus one plus our N, the rate per period again, all this raised to the negative of the total number of periods in T. All right, so what we're going to do is just set up uh, an expression on the right, a solvable, uh, simplifiable expression, and then figure out what the uh, monthly payments will be. All right, so let's start by identifying the variables and then finding out what their values are. Start with R. R is the APR, annual rate of 7%. 7% in mathematical form is 0 0.07, okay? Keep that in mind. N is the number of, um, number of periods, uh, number of periods per year, okay? So standard um, procedure for taking out loans is when you take out a loan, you make your payments monthly, and it's indicated here that the payments are going to be made monthly. So our N is going to be 12. Uh, what else? P. P is the principal that he's loaning out, he's taking. So what is this principal that 
has been financed here. Is it $100,000? The answer is no. Remember, he's putting down 10%, so we have to take the 10% out of the $100,000 to determine the principle that he's actually loaning, okay? So um, to do that, we'll just start with the original amount, 100,000, and then we subtract the down payment, which is 10%, 0.1, of the original amount, which is $100,000, okay? If you do it mentally, 10% of 100,000 is 10,000. If you subtract that from 100,000, you get 90,000. Or you can carry out these calculations I just did here. I set up here, you have $100,000 minus, 0.1 times 100,000 is 10,000. 100,000 minus 10,000 is 90,000, okay? So that's how much is financing. Even think about buying a house, if you wanna buy a house, um, your monthly payments are based on what's left after you take out the down payment from the uh, price of the house, okay? So that's why P is 90000 And then finally, A. A is the monthly payment. What is the monthly payment? That's what we are looking for. Um, oh, also, we, there's a T there. T. T is the term of the loan. How long is the loan for? Five years. So T is equal to five. Let's not forget that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these values and input it into this formula and then have my calculator compute what the monthly payment um, is going to be, all right? So we have um, R over N, and just to make our lives easier, how about we calculate R over N and NT on the side so that we can um, input it in the calculator with uh, less chance of making mistakes, okay? So we have uh, R over N is going to be 0 0.07 divided by the number of periods per year, which is 12. And then I also want to calculate NT. NT is 12 again times the term of the loan, which is 5. This is easy to do. This is 60. And then let's do the other calculation. All right, I'm going to be using my uh, TI-89 titanium for my computations here. So let's see, we're doing uh, 0 0.07 divided by 12. So the rate per period is 0 0.005833. So let's write that down, 0 0.005833. Okay, now I'm ready to put everything into my formula. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have um, R over N is 0 0.005833 times the principal, which is 90,000, not 100,000. So you've got to be careful with that. Divided by, divided by um, 1 minus 1 plus R over N is this R over N, 0 0.005833. You could have just added these two together. It's easier that way. Um, raised to the negative NT, negative 60. So you see how simple this is when you calculate the value of R over N and NT? It's easier to enter into your calculator. All right, so let's go ahead and compute what the value of this expression is. We're going to need the eight of our calculators. So in the numerator, I have, um, I'm just going to grab that answer, uh, times 90,000. And then um, divide that by, well, let me, this doesn't look too good. Let me make it look pretty. So 0 0.005833 times 90,000. In the numerator divided by the denominator 1 minus, um, I'm just going to combine these two terms right here. So it'll, it'll be 1.005833. Um, raise that to the negative 60th power. Close that and press enter. Okay, so it's 
Well, if I want to be really, really accurate, what I can do is I'll, I'll just add more threes here because this, you see this right here is repeating. Okay, so I can take this, this, let's do it this way. So instead of two threes, uh, let me clear this out. This value right here has an infinite number of threes. So you see all these threes repeating. So the more threes you have in this expression, the more accurate your answer is going to be. So I want it to be as accurate as possible. So let me add, let's add four more threes. One, two, three, four to that. And then in the other one, this is an estimation. Okay, it just gives us a general idea. It's just going to alter the amount of cents that, you know, you're going to be paying back. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I added more threes um, to the decimal um, expansion of point of um, point zero seven over twelve. So we have all these threes there. So you see that um, we got one hundred seventy eight point one one. The other result we got earlier was one seventy eight point zero nine. So this looks more accurate. One seventy eight point one seven eight two point one one. All right, so let's go ahead and write that down. So we have um, the answer is 178, 1,782.11, $1,782.11. So what does that mean? It means that uh, the monthly payment for the car loan is going to be 107, $1,782. $82.11. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to our channel. I'm here for other cool clips such as this. More clips can be found on mathgodserve.com. And also post a comment to let us know what you think about this clip. That would really be appreciated. Um, thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.